right? So that way the value of R0 doesn't actually change. R1 stores that value instead. Now, rather than having to do the move and shift in separate instructions, we can actually do them together. So what I can do is I can add on a third piece here. I could say LSL1, just like this. What this is going to do is it's going to move the value stored in R0 into R1, and then it's going to shift it by 1. So let's take a look at what happens. So we get 10, and then you can see we get 20 directly. So you can see that it does that shift immediately, right? So we don't have to worry about it happening, you know, multiple times, right? We, we don't have to do it in multiple separate instructions. We could do it all in one instruction instead. So this is something sort of unique about the shifts that we haven't seen with other sorts of instructions so far. So that shows you how the logical shifts work inside of ARM. I'm going to end off here just by showing you a rotation. Just that way you're able to see what that ends up looking like. So the instructions.